Academy has its official opening. Today, the amazing New York Athletics Carnival commences. Plenty of fellows visit Kmart. Senior students go on camp, and fellows continue the big fry up at the Clontarf Academy. Good morning, I'm Misha with GR News. Last day I saw the official opening of the Girls Academy with Nigel Scullion, the Minister of Indigenous Affairs, unveiling the plot. Let's take a look. something that we've been working on for a long time. I even look back before I was here, the Girls Academy was something that was needed for this college. I really like Girls Academy because it is a good and safe place for us girls to hang out, relax and chill. Having lived under the shadows of the successful Quantarp Academy for the fellas, the girls too now have the opportunity to do extracurricular activities outside the Program. Thanks very much for the welcome. I really appreciate that. And to uh, Danielle and Christina, uh, I, I doubt very much if you would have been up here uh, giving a presentation and leading up for a few years. Three hours of information. I'm from here. Well done. Last Wednesday night, Clontarf took some senior students for an employment visit at Kmart. Ted Carter, the store manager, took the fellows through all sections and explained the various potential jobs that are available. Ms. Caspini reported it was a well worth visit. The session was very interesting and a few of the students had already met Ted which allowed them to feel more comfortable and ask plenty of questions. Last week, the senior school went on a camp to Hamilton Downs as a part of the Duke of Edinburgh Award. The adventurous journey consisted of an overnight camp at Hamilton Downs Youth Camp. Campfires were already lit by the time they arrived and after unpacking, they began to cook their root tails. The next morning, students went on a difficult hike up the McDonald Range with all students managing to complete the challenge. Another highlight of the camp was the challenge course with Saleh and Cristela completing the course in under one minute. All the staff and students had a wonderful time. A message from Clontarf, a big thank you to everyone that turned up for the Clontarf Fry Up. I fellas got up bright and early and cooked for over 70 people, which was a record. This happens every Friday. Well done, fellas. Today is the athletics day. Get stretching, pump those muscles, and go for it and have fun. That's news, now to sports. Here's Daniel. Last week, the year our fellas played two games of volleyball. The result were... Game 1 lost 41-19, to 19. man of the match, Lazarus Jones. 
Game 2, loss 42-23. Man of the match, Angus. Mr. Alfrey reported. The Fallas team worked and hustled is improving every week. And to say the CMS Titan played our very own Brumbies. The result were 54 to 12, the Brumbies. Some late sporting results. Yara women's basketball team beat Jazz 55-21 on Monday night. Yara ladies footy team had a convincing win against CMS Girls Academy. 10.5 to 1.1 on Wednesday afternoon and a big happy birthday to Mr. Ash, Mr. Jensen and Mr. Selwyn. Now to weather, here's Chantal. <laughs> Today we can expect a high of 23 degrees. Saturday 28 and Sunday 31. Monday a high of 27 degrees. That's weather. Let's check out what's happening in Ellis with Lucasta. Running until the 22nd of May, a weekend of reality with Will Graham at Blather Skate Park. Admission free Friday. See the youth event starting at 7 p.m. until 9.30 p.m. Saturday, the Kid Fest, 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. Saturday, also the Outback concert featuring local artists Sat uh, starting at 12 p.m. to 5 p.m. And Sunday, the Combined Churches of Alice Spring, starting 10 a.m. to 11.30 a.m. That's even back to you, Michelle. Hi, right, guys. It's Teenage Ben. Important, stay strong, keep learning, and stay in school. Education is the key! That's your news for 20th of May 2016 and a big call out to friends and family back home at Robinson River community. Have an awesome weekend and enjoy your shopping. Catch you next week. Bye. <laughs> uh.